The Salvation Army has provided vital human services to the Rochester area for 140 years. This is our, our program right here, right behind me, the Emergency Family Services Program, which is where we meet um, basic human needs. Major Rick Starkey is the director of Monroe County Operations for the Salvation Army of Greater Rochester. He says the nonprofit's Emergency Family Services Program serves up to 9,000 clients each year. The program previously received $600,000 from United Way's Community Impact Fund. Now, that funding has been drastically cut. And starting in January for the new funding cycle, we've been cut to 85000 The numbers just are crazy when you think about we would normally, you know, divide 600000 over 12 months. Now we're dividing 85000 over 12 months. It really doesn't even pay for one employee. Starkey tells me many people rely on Salvation Army services for everyday needs, and up to 100 people come through the door on a daily basis. Whether it's food, um, baby diapers, formula, toiletries, and then also other um, utility assistance, rental assistance, so it takes employees. And, you know, so we have six employees in this department, um, from case managers to, um, you know, food, you know, people that give out the food to a director. United Way blames the significant cuts in funding announced August 9th on donor giving being down since the pandemic. Starkey adds the United Way funding cuts to Foodlink will impact Salvation Army's food pantry. That's a big chunk of money to lose and to make up. Um, and especially when you're talking about not just us, but again, the whole collaborative of social services in Rochester.